Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's figure out how to calculate work. And work is force times distance. I have this nifty triangle here, and it can be helpful because if you want to find work, it's force times distance. If you want to find force, it's work divided by distance, and distance is work divided by force. So let's get started on this first example. During a race, a runner impacts the ground with a force on his foot of 200 newtons. If he runs a distance of 30 meters, how much work does a runner do? So we're looking for work, and we know that it is force times distance. Well, it says that it strikes with a force of 200 newtons and a distance of 30 meters. So now all we do is we multiply 200 times 30, which is equal to 6,000. And then the units, keep them in place, it is newtons times meters, and another way you can write that is joules, okay? The SI unit for work is joules, so it is 6,000 joules, okay? Let's look at another example. If it takes John 8 newtons of force to move the sled 2 meters, how much work is done? I'm going to draw the triangle. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to just to show you how it works. And we're looking for work. Work is force times distance. So I'm going to write work equals you have a force of 8 newtons and the sled was moved 2 meters. 8 times 2 is 16. Here's your units, newton times meter, which we can rewrite as joules. So the answer is work equals 16 joules. Easy enough. Now we're going to look at one that is slightly different, okay? So in this one, it says, if it takes 500 joules of work to move a chair 10 meters, what force was needed? So now we have a uh, triangle. We have work, force, distance. We're looking for force, and it is work divided by distance. So we have 500 joules, and I'm going to rewrite, instead of joules, I'm going to go newton times meter over 10 meters. Okay, 500 divided by 10 is 50. Watch the units. The meters cancel, and you're left with newtons, which force is uh, measured in. One more example. Okay, in this one, what distance was your bike moved by a force of 40 newtons if the work was 600 joules? Okay, work, force, distance. Okay, we are looking for distance. So it's going to be work divided by force. It says you have 600 joules of work. Rewrite that as newton times meters. And now we're going to place it over a force. Because remember, we're looking for distance. So it's work divided by force. And force, remember, is in newtons. Watch this. 600 divided by 40 is 15. The newtons cancel, and you're left with meters. So it's a distance of 15 meters. Okay, I hope the triangle will help you figure out these different uh, things that you need, work, force, or distance. And remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.